Before we start, we would like to acknowledge that we are situated on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. Helen Oro, world traveler, only Canadian and Indigenous designer at the NBA All-Star Weekend Fashion Show in 2018. Kendall Netmaker, Maclean's Magazine Future Leaders Under 25. Devin Fiddler, She Native, winner of Startup Canada Young Entrepreneur of the Year. What do these individuals have in common? They've all went on to receive recognition and awards for their amazing businesses and are important role models for future generations of youth to come. My name is Brayden. And I'm Natasha. Today, we are here to share our program, the Indigenous Youth Idea Challenge. The Canadian Council for Indigenous Business found the biggest issues facing Indigenous entrepreneurs is access to financing and that many businesses were operating without a formal business plan. We saw the need in Saskatchewan's Indigenous communities for business education. To address these issues, we created the Indigenous Youth Idea Challenge, a unique opportunity that encourages aspiring entrepreneurs to take their business ideas to the next level. The IAC project consists of a series of workshops where business representatives from the community take these participants through the basics of starting a business. This year, for the first time, we had our eight workshops online. And throughout these workshops, we introduced participants to our sponsors, Affinity Credit Union, and taught them topics such as how to market their business, manage their accounts, understand legal contracts, and more. The challenge has created a tight-knit community of driven Indigenous entrepreneurs and leaders. Once in the program, they develop relationships with other participants, workshop presenters, and prominent Indigenous business leaders in the community. Four years ago, we had 10 participants. That number grew to 17 this year. And while enduring the struggles of the pandemic, we were still able to maintain the same success as previous years and grew our reach to even more entrepreneurs across the province. The competition ends with the awards gala, where five participants pitch their business plans to a panel of judges consisting of sponsors, local entrepreneurs, U of S faculty, and previous winners. The ideas are then graded on the quality of their business plans and pitch. They were able to host the gala this year using our online platform, Hopin. In 2019, we introduced the under 19 category to encourage additional youth participation in the program. This has shown to be a tremendous success as this year, 17 year old Kayla Little Poplar pushed through adversity by winning both the U19 category and taking third place overall with her Cree language teaching book idea. Meet previous winner and founder of C. Lysia's Design Fashion Studio, Stephanie Gamble. She designs and produces her own clothing line, organizes runway shows, and empowers Indigenous youth by providing opportunities in modeling. Here, Stephanie is explaining her thoughts on the workshop and the program after her win last year. I attended them like four different years. <laughs> so it was really good. It was very helpful. It really broke down everything. Yes, I would recommend this. It's it's like a super awesome program. After living in a cycle of abuse, Stephanie began following in her grandmother's footsteps and started designing clothing. Fashion became her escape to cope with past traumas. Each of her pieces are unique and represent individualism, empowerment, and confidence. She has also inspired other Indigenous youth to challenge their ideas, as this year we saw her younger sister, Britt Gamble, attend the workshops and successfully win second place at the final gala. With her winnings, Stephanie is planning on reinvesting the money back into her business for things such as supplies and a new office space, allowing her to be more creative and successful as time comes. Since the start of this program, we have provided capital to 19 Indigenous youth empowering them to turn their business ideas into reality and impacted over 175 participants providing them with the skills and knowledge to enhance their entrepreneurial journey we are 20 students from Anactus university of saskatchewan impacting encouraging empowering indigenous youth of today and building leaders of tomorrow